Greetings everyone, Ranger Eric here at Montgomery Bell State Park and in our video we're going to talk a little bit about the railroad history here at Montgomery Bell. Well as you can see I'm at the back entrance, the Highway 47 entrance near a bridge that crosses the current railroad tracks. Well as we start talking about the history of the park we're actually going to start pushing back towards the Civil War. Well, prior to the Civil War, the railroad did not exi didn't exist this far. It actually only existed as far as Kingston Springs. Well, with the occupation of Nashville, the order was given out to expand that rail line from the Cumberland River in Nashville all the way to the Tennessee River. Well, this rail line that would be built would be extended from Kingston Springs through the park and all the way to what would become Johnsonville Depot and more specifically to the Johnsonville State Park. As we continue this video, we're, we're gonna go look on the Baker's Cemetery Trail, which as we hike this trail, we're gonna see some of those remnants of the Civil War Railroad. As we continue hiking along the Baker Cemetery Trail, we come to a segment where you see that the ground starts to rise up and this area here, you can see it going for a ways in both directions, is part of that original Civil War U.S. Military Railroad or later on the Nashville and Northwestern Railroad that ran through the park and connected itself with John. Continue on our hike, we come to the Baker's Cemetery itself and resting here in Baker Cemetery is a gravestone of a fella named Pitt Simpkins. This Pitt Simpkins was part of the 13th U.S. Colored Infantry, which was one of the groups that would have been responsible for both building the railroad as it left Kingston Springs headed to Johnsonville, and then later once that railroad was completed at actually guarding the railroad. So he's, he's still here and he's still taking care of the railroad for us. Another element of the park's Civil War history is the McNary attacks or the McNary raids that occurred on the Civil War rail line as it ran through the park. On October 18, 1864, Confederate partisan Alexander D. McNary attacked the railroad near this site. Around midnight, McNary captured the railroad maintenance crew and forced them to remove the spikes from one of the rails. McNary and his men fired on the first train that came by, wounding two and killing one, but inflicting no damage to the train. When a second train passed over the sabotage track, it derailed, injuring two crewmen. The Confederates robbed the crew and then tried to set fire to the train, but failed. A third train arrived, and all hands leapt off and were robbed, but the engineer backed up the loaded train of lumber to the safety of White Bluff. Federal cavalry pursued the gang, but were outdistanced, the section workers cleared the track by morning and railroad traffic resumed. McNary's men returned on October 21st, burned the railroad maintenance facilities, dwellings, and stacks of cordwood, and also damaged the tracks. Union cavalry responded once more, but were unable to catch up with them. The, a rapid response by Union construction crews allowed the railroad to reopen two days later without a major disruption of federal supply efforts. We hope you enjoyed your virtual history tour of Montgomery Bell State Park. We hope you come back and, and see us again. Thank you.